Welcome back to Operation Pixel. We found the way to go because we're a couple of doofuses. And I just looked at the map and I was like, oh, hey, look, there's an arrow over there. I wonder if that's where we go. I think that's where we should go. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's still good that we went back because we found the merchant and we really needed to sell and stuff. There's a lot of stuff I want in that merchant. Uh. I want that bow. Nope. Fighting wolves and stuff now, it looks like. Um. Setting wolves on fire? So, let's see, last time we were talking a little bit about Yu Gi Oh! I was gonna mention that I haven't I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in a really long time, except for one time. Uh, we actually had him on the show uh, for some Magic Pendul a little while back. Yeah. I'm gonna get him back so we can do some more Magic Pendul. Uh, but Hiru, 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 I don't know what he wants to be called, but Hiru, uh, I think is what he typically goes by these days. Um, and whoa, my hit points! Oh, geez. Um, jeez, so many wolves, so many, so many wolves, so <laughs> many wolves, um, uh, health bones, jeez, oh jeez, you know I thought I had a lot of potions, but uh, I may not soon, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, he, when I first met him, he was, uh... I mean, he's, he's, he's quite a bit younger than me, but he was also still involved in the Yu-Gi-Oh! crowd. Uh, which has apparently changed quite a bit, because when we were younger... Yeah. Uh, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was still kind of a new game. And, like, a lot of it was definitely, like, nodding to the show, and, like, uh... Some of it was definitely just, like... They're like, hey, look, we made a card game. Um, and I feel like some of the design choices, perhaps, behind Yu-Gi-Oh! weren't great. Cause, like, there was cards that, like, every deck had, right? Yeah. Like, do you remember, uh, things like Raigeki? Oh, yeah. Like, if you didn't have one of those in your deck, you were an idiot. Yeah, you were basically uh, pwned. Pot of Greed. Like, everyone's got one. And, uh, Mirror Force. Yeah. What was the, uh, Resurrection one? Monster Reborn? Yeah, Monster Reborn. Uh. Call of the Haunted. Yeah. So the thing is that there was, like, a lot of cards that, like, every deck had. And since your deck was, like, 40 cards, like half of your deck was basically the same as everybody else's. Jeez, these wolves... So much damage! Die! Maybe we should, like, save. Otherwise we're gonna run into, like, a huge wolf. Oh yeah, I'm still planning to save. Just wanna finish killing these guys first. Good god. Oh, let's save here, because we're not going back to Act 1. Um... But freaking like, uh, it seems like after I stopped playing it, uh, they, they, things changed somewhat and they started adding like, more like, uh, more depth to the game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is cool. Uh, I still wasn't really interested in investing time and money into getting back into it. But when, uh, I was talking with Hiru one time and he found out I played Yu-Gi-Oh, he's like, hey, do you want to play against my deck? And I was like, dude, my deck is filled with cards that are illegal now. <laughs> like, you're not allowed to play with stuff like Raigeki and Monster Reborn, because, like, again, like if, Harvest of the Duster. if they were allowed, everyone would be playing them, like, constantly. Because that's what happened. <laughs> um, they're just too powerful. Uh, and so he said, yeah, that's fine. You can play with your broken cards, and I'll just play with my deck. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, so we actually did play a game. Yeah. And it was funny, because he went first... And he pulled off some crazy, ridiculous combo that I couldn't even follow. It's like, he played, like, a spell card that let him, like, search his deck for something, then played a creature, then they like, special sacrifice, and then, like, it special summoned something else, and he sacrificed both of them for, like, a special effect thing. And I was like, what is going on here? And he ended up with, like, some super dragon with some really long effect thing that was, like, some sort of, like, uh... Might have even been like a white bordered card, and there wasn't even white bordered cards when I played. It's like getting like way too easy to bring stuff out now. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what happened. I'm sure he had a combo. I'm not sure if that was like his optimal opening move, but it seemed pretty dang good. Because uh, the show that originally got us interested in the game oh. and uh, stuff like that has gone through many iterations in different uh, directions. Uh huh. And each new show introduces a new type of way of playing the game. Like, uh, like one of the first ones was, uh, kind of like a synchro summoning. Oh, yeah, that might, all be, the cards. that might be what his creature was. 
all those cards got to center around that for a while. Uh huh. Where basically, if you have one regular monster and one tuner, if you have the necessary stars between them, you can be able to summon someone they would normally take two sacrifices for. And you can even do it like if you had like a hand, like if you had like a tuner on the field, and you had the necessary material on you, you can instantly just bring out a creature. And then the shows went to a new direction and had like XYZ summoning. Where they have uh, certain cards with uh, certain effects that you can be able to summon if you just simply have the required uh, star levels. Yeah, it sounds like you were definitely in with this longer than I was. <laughs> I just uh, I just kept it with the show, not so much with the uh, the game because I couldn't I really afford to sure. get all the latest cards and uh -huh. the trends. And then it just switched up from there. There's the synchro, then X Y Z. Then it's now all these other crazy ways you can be able to uh, do stuff nowadays. Anyways, I was gonna say that I like th that wasn't the end of the story. That's the beginning of the story of my duel with Hiru. Uh, it was funny though because like he did all this crazy stuff. If I'd gotten first, I was looking at my hand. and I was like, I think I'll just put this man eater bug in face down defense. Yeah. Like that would have been my first turn. <laughs> and no, he did this crazy freaking dragon super combo. Uh, then it was funny because like. Again, it's like, well, what am I gonna do now? Uh, since he's got this huge dragon out. I played my broken illegal card, Change of Heart, to steal his dragon. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I hit him in the face with it. And then I sacrificed it to make one of my monsters. <laughs> I can't remember what, what exactly happened. I just remember that, like, I, I thought that first turn was hilarious that he made this huge combo. And then I was like, I have one broken card, I play it. <laughs> Jesus, um. hurts. Just about out of arrows. How are you almost out of arrows? I don't know. I've been firing at all these people. I'm gonna block these guys. <laughs> I can block an army of yetis forever. Perfect hands doesn't seem to do all that much damage here. I'll switch over to missiles. That'll do more. Build a table. Oh god, they're surrounding me! I need to get out of here! I'm dead. Get out, get out, run! Get back to the safe point. Immortality! Um. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think I ended up winning that game just because that's how broken old cards are. Yeah. His deck was clearly way better than mine in terms of strategy. But. They the brought back. So uh, they brought back some of the uh, old cards that they. Uh, they kind of banned. Like, I think Monster Reborn is now back. Mm -hmm. And, uh. With the newer sets of cards, they kind of came up with similar cards that actually did a similar effect. Maybe had some of that uh, cost to it. Uh -oh. And I have no mana! No, <laughs> You're screwed, Rob! No, I can live. I can live. I just need to... Alright, I got a sword. <laughs> this is all I can do at the moment. Hack and run. Okay, let's go save really quick, shall we? <laughs> oh, man. I'm a mage with no magely power. <laughs> Some magely power. I, I really don't remember, weapon. like... I'm trying to remember... Because I definitely cheated, I think, the, the first time I played this game. And just get myself tons of money and all the best gear. And that would have helped. But I'm still surprised, like, consistently... But how much harder this game is than I remember it being. Uh, it could be that it's harder in two-player mode. Or that, like... So, we kind of have, like, the whole Player's 8 kind of going on here. <clears throat> Nobody else will know what that means, unless they play Diablo 2. Like, a very specific kind of playing Diablo 2. Um, play Diablo 2, it's fun. <laughs> Mana! But, uh... We can burn people now. 
Yeah. No, I was I was showing uh, Zyman between episodes that you could import your character. So, like, if we wanted to, we could actually just start up a new game, import our characters, and run through Act 1 again. Yeah. And just get more money and loot. Uh, but that's also how you go about duping things. So we could, we could just dupe ourselves money and stuff. If that's what we felt like doing. Which we won't, because we're honorable. <laughs> yeah, I like... I like to value the integrity of our show. We occasionally pwn kids, but... Hey, <laughs> we have our code. Yeah, when, when TJ and I were playing through uh, Diablo 2, which, uh... Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, jeez, did we go somewhere? I think that was the end of the map. I was fighting that guy, I was about to die, and then I think you press square and... Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. That guy's probably still there. I wanna make sure we didn't miss any loot. Oh, God! He's coming straight at me. There we go. Oh, man. I need to figure out why I'm so god dang not invincible. Um... But yeah, uh, TJ and I played through Diablo 2 here on Operation Pixel. We actually played through Diablo 1 as well, so if anyone wants this, watch, uh, check out Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. Oh, there's a cave here. Interesting. Curious. Alright, I want to check just up here to fill out the map real quick, and then we'll decide where to go. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we played through both those games. And we played through Diablo 2 entirely legit. I think... We might have done, like, a few Mephisto runs between episodes. But besides that, like, everything we did, we did as part of the show. So we skipped... We skipped nothing. We didn't, like, give ourselves hand-me-downs from alt characters. Yeah. We didn't, like, just go out and just be like, Oh, we can just trade for ridiculously powerful items. Uh... Did you guys make it all the way to Hell difficulty? No, we, we played through normal. There's no reason to, like, do extra episodes for Nightmare and Hell difficulty. <laughs> Uh, but we did do the, um, bonus levels. We did the, uh, we did an episode for the cow level. Oh, that's fun. Uh, and then we did an episode for Uber Tristram. Oh, yeah, I was about to mention that. I was like, oh, do you guys do that? Oh, yeah, man. No, that was, that was a long time later. It was, like, months later. TJ and I kept playing, and we made it to Uber Tristram with those characters. And we're like, oh, dude, we should do an Uber Tristram episode. Uh, and it was funny because we got our butts destroyed. <laughs> uh, and so I made like a little montage thing. It's like seven minutes or something like that of us just dying. Mostly me dying. Uh oh, I'm dead. You're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> um. Oh, that's gonna make us put us back up by the loading screen. But yeah. Uh, so we changed up our strategy then yeah. and tried again like a week later with with slightly different gear and then we got an episode out of it. But it's kind of fun if anyone wants to see a montage. I found out during that montage that uh, when when I die... Oh, jeez, are we way back here? Did we not save after we killed a bunch of yetis? Uh, I see some dead bodies. So mm, there's going to be good. more. <laughs> there's more up here. Oh, man. All right, well... Um, I found out that, that when I died in that montage, I said, I said very often, Oh, come on! <laughs> that is, that is apparently, that's, that's my uh, gut reaction to dying in video games. <laughs> so, it was just, I was not aware of how much I was saying it until I, I made that little, uh, thingy-majig. Alright, well, I guess uh, we'll maybe, like, clean up this area, re-explore re the map, and we'll come back next time on Operation Pixel, and maybe we'll attempt the cave again, and hopefully not die horribly. No promises, though.